Hello children, welcome to Curious Minds with Hemangini. Our today's topic is radicals. What is radicals children? Radical is a single atom or a group of atoms of different elements that carries a charge and act as a single unit in any chemical reaction. If you want to learn about chemical formula, chemical reaction and how to balance chemical reaction, you must understand about the radicals first. So let's understand radicals with examples. First, in the left hand side column, sodium ion, chloride ion and hydrogen ion. They are made from the single atom. And right hand side column, ammonium ion, sulfate ion and nitrate ion. They are made from the different elements group of atoms and from the different elements. Ammonium ion is made from the nitrogen and hydrogen, sulfate from the sulfur and oxygen and nitrate from the nitrogen and oxygen. Now, charge is always written on the right hand side as a superscript. Okay. Now, charge means the valency of the particular radical. If sodium has plus charge, that means plus 1, it has one extra electron and it can donate electron, one extra electron and will follow the octet rule. Chloride ion has minus charge, that means it has one electron less and it will gain one electron and will follow the octet rule. Same way, if the plus 2 charge is there, that means it has two extra electrons and it can donate two extra electrons and will follow the octet rule. Okay, let's see different types of radicals now depending on the charge and depending on the number of atoms present on the particular radical. Let's see that first. Now, depending on the charge, radicals are of two types, positive radicals and negative radicals. If the charge is positive, known as positive radicals and if the charge is negative, known as negative radical. Positive radicals are also known as cations and basic radicals and negative radicals are also known as anions and acidic radicals. Now, why the positive radicals are also known as basic radicals? Because they come from the base part of the chemical reaction. Sodium hydroxide is the base and sodium radical comes from the base part whereas hydrochloric acid is acid. So chloride ion comes from the acid part of the chemical reaction that's why it is known as acidic radical and positive radical is known as basic radical. I hope this is clear now. Now let's see different types of radicals according to the number of atoms present in the radical. Let's see that first. Now, number of atoms present in the radicals, radicals are of two types, simple radical and compound radical. Simple radical is monoatomic and compound radical is polyatomic. Poly means more than one atom, right? And mono means one atom. Now, they are of two types. Obviously, a positive charge cations and negatively charged anions. And polyatomic again cations and anions. So, simple radicals are monoatomic and compound radicals are polyatomic. Now, let's see a few examples of cations and anions of monoatomic and polyatomic. Cations, magnesium ion, hydrogen ion, sodium ion. Okay, it has positive charge. That's why they are monoatomic cations and anions, chloride, nitride, oxide. Okay, and they carry negative charge. That's why they are monoatomic anions. Now, let's move on to the compound radical that is polyatomic. Now, cations, ammonium ion made from the different atoms, nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay, and more than one atoms. Nitrogen 1 and hydrogen 4 atoms. So, they are made from the different elements and many atoms. That's why polyatomic. Anions, carbonate, nitrate and hydroxide ion. Okay. So, th this was about the types of radicals depending on the number of atoms present in the radical. Simple radical has only one atom. 
कंपाउंड रेडिकल हैज मल्टीपल एटम्स प्रेजेंट दैट्स वाई सिंपल रेडिकल इज नोन एज मोनो एटमिक एंड कंपाउंड रेडिकल इज नोन एज पॉली एटमिक लेट सी नेमिंग ऑफ मोनो एटमिक आयंस If the ions carrying positively charged, then we have to add the ion after the name of the element: hydrogen ion, magnesium ion, potassium ion, sodium ion, and aluminium ion. But if the radical is negatively charged, then we have to add IDE as the suffix. Let's take an example: oxide ion, sulfide ion, chloride ion. hydride ion and fluoride ion so if the positively charged we have to write the element name and ion but if the mono atomic ion is negatively charged we have to add ide after the base name of the element oxide sulfide chloride hydride nitride now let's move on to the next part how the naming of mono atomic ions with variable valency are named so iron has two valencies 2 and 3 so if the valency is lower we add ous as the suffix and if the valency is higher we add ic as the suffix so valency 2 ferrous valency 3 ferric for copper cuprous cupric for mercury mercurous and mercuric this way all the mono atomic ions are named for positive ion we add name of the element and ion after the name of the element for negatively charged radical we add ide as the suffix oxide hydride chloride right and for the elements with variable valency for higher valency we add ic as suffix and for lower valency we add ous as suffix now let's move on to the naming of polyatomic ion now if the polyatomic ion is positively charged we have to add suffix o n i u m onium okay let's take few examples of that first hydronium ion and ammonium ion so as you can see this is polyatomic ion and it is hydronium and ammonium ion now what about the negatively charged for the negatively charged polyatomic ions with combination of only oxygen we add suffix ite for lesser number of oxygen present in the ion and for ate for higher number of oxygen present in the ion let's take examples now no2 minus nitrite and no3 minus nitrate as you can see in nitrite two oxygens are there and in nitrate three oxygens are there so lower oxygen number nitrite it and for higher number of oxygen eight ate after the name nitrate and nitrite now let's see the sulfide and sulfate so3 2 minus sulfide so4 2 minus sulfate three oxygen in sulfide and four oxygen in sulfate that means sulfide and sulfate now for phosphide and phosphate phosphide for po3 3 minus and phosphate for po4 3 minus three oxygen in phosphide and four oxygen in phosphate and this is the carbonate now carbonate is also there co2 2 minus carbonite okay for lower oxygen it and for higher oxygen it we add as the suffix now let's move on to the next part if negatively charged with combination of oxygen and hydrogen both earlier we have seen it was just the combination with oxygen now this is the combination with hydrogen and oxygen both when the hydrogen is connected with the uh, radical CO3 carbonate or sulfate we have to add by before the radical name this is by carbonate this is by sulfate so whenever there is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen both we add by by carbonate by sulfate so this is how we name all different monoatomic ions and polyatomic ions 
in the next video we will learn how to calculate valency of polyatomic ion so see you in the next video children i hope you have understood this topic if you have understood please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel that is curious minds with hemangini thank you children